Hello everyone and welcome back to the third lesson on how to get started with Expedia. In the last lesson, we talked about how to set up and import your VDE model. And in this one, I'm going to show you the overview of the showcase. To get us started, I, we, to get us started, I first have to change the size of my 3D model. So what can happen a lot of the times is that your scale is off. So at first in the showcase, you won't see anything. You can zoom out or zoom in to find your model. In this case, my model is way too big. I can change the scale by selecting the configurable and change it to 0 0.1. change it down so it has a correct size. Inside of the showcase, we're going to add lights to light up your product and also a camera to choose the viewing angle of which your customers will be able to see the product. This is all to set up the look and feel of your configurator. So we're going to start with inserting a spotlight. So there are a lot of different lights inside of XPV, but for now we're going to focus on the spotlight. This is a directional light. You can see here, it gives a nice shadow on the rest of your chair and also lights up from a certain direction. So now we can see that it has a very small cone lighting up the chair. I'm going to increase the angle to change this up, and I also want to move it a bit back, and now I have a nice even lighting of my chair. And now we only have one angle, the back of the chair will still be dark, and eventually we will also are going to have some issues with lighting the model too much. So I'm going to change my one standard light, so my one hemisphere light that comes with my scene. This one lights up in all directions. I'm going to change this one to around 0 0.4. What I'm going to do to start off, I'm going to do the same with my first spotlight. Next, I want to add another spotlight. And what I can do is from the outliner, I can right click and select duplicate. And this will create an exact duplicate of my light. Select this one and move it over to the side so that I can light it up from a different angle. In this case, what I'm going for is a three-point setup. This is most commonly used in most configurators. So I need one more. So again, right-click, duplicate, and move it to the back of the model. The one light aiming at the back can be a bit brighter because it's only one. So I'm going to change it to around 0 0.5. And now we have a nice lighting setup from all angles. The next thing we have to do is add a camera. So this will be the starting position of your configurator. Do this by going to the insert again and select on the camera, select perspective. So I'll add a camera in the scene at a basic 0, zero position. And what we can do instead of moving the camera is find a angle that you like. So something like this. Have the camera selected in your outliner and in the options, select the button set camera. So you get a pop-up if you will still want to do this. Select confirm. And now if I move around, I can see my camera is set to the exact position I was just in. The only thing is my focal point is 0, 0, 0. So it's aiming a bit too far down. I can change that by going to my options, scroll a bit down to I'll find focus, select the transform focus button, then I get a gimbal. And if I move this up to about the center of the chair. You can also see that my viewing angles will be a bit more correct. So I'm going to 
down a little bit and this is the view of my full chair so if i now save my changes and go to my preview you can see that this is the starting position of my configurator you can also see that the leg is cut off so i have to change my camera a bit the top side is fine and my overall lighting without any textures is fine for now as well so we can go back to the showcase and i'm gonna move my camera just a bit backwards to increase my view what i'm also going to do is change my background so now we have a gray background but i want a color so if i go to my default inside of my outliner i can change my background type you can have a lot of different ones you can have transparent and you won't have any backgrounds you will see your web page behind your uh, model you can also select a color an image or a cube map in this case i want a color the standard color is white and i'm going to leave it white and again save my changes If I now go back to my preview, I can see the chair from all angles. It's a bit dark on the side, so maybe I have to move some lights. But for now, I have a nicely lit up front. Also the back, I can see the definition. We have a white neutral background. I can also have enough space in front of my configurator. And we can still zoom and pan. So this is something I also want to change. So going back to my showcase. If I select my camera, I can scroll all the way down and I can see my max zoom, my minimum zoom, and also the pan disabled and the local pan through. So in this case, I don't want the customer to be able to pan my model. And I also don't want them to see the underside so I can lock up my hemisphere then i can change my min and maximum zoom so these numbers correspond to the amount on your grid so i can see one two three four and then i go one extra five maybe one more so my minimum zoom distance i want around six for now my maximum zoom out we can go about 15 I save this I'm going back to my preview I can no longer pan around I also cannot see my underside so my hemisphere is locked and zoom in just a little bit too far I believe so I'm just a bit too close so I can change that and if I zoom out this is the maximum I can zoom out I want this to be a bit more and I zoom in a bit less so I'll go back select my camera again change my 6 to about 10 we go a bit further and change this to 25 save that so these zoom values will always depend on your own model how big it is or how small it is if it's longer taller these settings will always depend on your product so don't just use mine just see for yourself which settings are best so now i can zoom in this is the maximum amount that i can zoom in and this is probably all right if i zoom out this is the furthest i can go so this is also fine So this is the short overview of the showcase. So what we did is using the insert, we added some spotlights and also we added the camera. We changed the intensity of the, of the spotlights and also the hemisphere lights. And I also added the camera and changed the values of the camera, changed the focus of the focal point of the camera 
there's one more interesting setting inside the camera and that is that we can change the perspective controller so now we have an orbiting camera that views around the model so you can turn around the model but sometimes it's handy to have a first person camera and i will just show you if i change that go back to my preview you can see that i no longer turn around the model but i loop around on the spot so this can be handy if you have interior shots of something or you just want to limit the viewing angles you can change it to a first person camera for now i'm going to change it back because it's not necessary for this so these are the most important functions of the scene editor of the showcase in the next episode i'm going to show you how to set up your materials and your material groups